How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And, yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match, for God's sakes. And your winner, Team Top Ten! Wait, oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! no. No one should take out the Patriots but Team Top Ten. So top that, take that, whatever your name is, boy band group, whatever your name is, IGN, GNI. They took David Griffin from me. You're not going to take my title from me. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to go right through you, and then Team Patriots, wake the fuck up because I'm back. Team Top Ten is back, and we're coming for you. Yeah, we're coming Get for you, shape. communists. Get we're coming shape. for you, communists. That tournament was insignificant without me, without Eric. But that, yeah, it's not, it's not a real tournament. I mean, okay, we let we let the kids play, you know, while we took a little breather. But yeah, that's that. Now they have to actually have some real competition. That's right. The men are here to take your boys' uh, trophy with. And yeah, yeah, we've retitled ourselves. And yeah, you know, uh, you know what's gonna happen here? You know, you're just you're just gonna take a TKO. So. What do we got to say about that? Pop that. Dogs. Dogs. Tails! Rip up that rule book. We got your crew shook. Eyes up in that sun hot and we'll burn you with one look. Peace out, my brother. Kiss to your mother. Bust a couple of shots and spread your team around like butter. Wake up, my dude. Eyes black and blue. Flowers in your room that say we hope you get well soon. Every time I take a step, I crack a little earth. I push it through the pain like a mama giving birth. Turn up. Christian Harloff joined by this guy, Ken Naps. Well, Harloff, it's great to be back here with you, right? Right? You and I. Oh, we oh, love each yeah, other. Yeah. It's so oh, good. Yeah, yeah. You ruined my career with your oh, yeah. system. I love it. Happy there to it be is. here, though, for the start of season five. Well, it's the season five, the start of the team. We just, yeah. had, we just had the big uh, the big triple threat match, but now it's time for the team match to begin. And just like this past Friday, this is a number one contender spot between Team Top That, Jim Vavita, Eric Goldman. These guys are three and one with three knockouts. They have been on a damn tear since they joined this league this past season, but they are going up easily their hardest shot so far against the former champions, Top 10, who destroyed Team Action at the Schmodown Spectacular this past December. You know, I always say, I, I don't ever want to take anything away from Top 10. They are former champs for a reason. They know what they're doing. They are in the upper echelon, but they've been around a long, and they got to be looking over their shoulders. They've been around a long time. they got to wonder who's going to take their spot. I feel there's a lot of pressure on them going into the season to keep up with their prior accomplishments, but they do have those accomplishments. But top that, I love these guys. You know why I love, why these, love guys? these guys? They don't give a damn. They're here to win. They don't even know my name. They barely know your name. They are just here to compete, win, go home, and have a beer. I love it. All right. Well, you know, you're exactly right, and we're going to see a lot of that. Let's let's look at these promos here first. Well, Matt, we took care of Team Action. We're back here again. We're taking on Team uh, IGN, Top That, whatever they want to call themselves this week. No idea. Look, this is probably the greatest team we faced to this point, at least according to them. Team... 
top 10, I think. Schmetti and Juice Box. Yeah, and I think it's a uh, uh, Schmoka, yeah, Mocha, yeah. and uh, Donnie Most, I uh, think, was the other guy. You know, Team Action woke us up. Woke us up! Not just by knocking me down an assault and battery charge, but they woke us up. And now we're back. We earned ourselves this shot, and now we're gonna take this shot and take top that out. You should fear us because we are clearly uh, two people who are only smart at movies. We literally, I was told it was pizza and I walk in the door and now I'm this close to being a champion. I think that is something to be afraid of. John, does it, does it bother you at all that these guys don't give a damn about the entire Schmodown? Yeah. They haven't watched it. They didn't know our names. I was Donnie Most, and this was uh, John Schmoka. Schmoka. Apparently, legitimately thought his name yeah. was Schmoka. Of all the people I face in my travels, <laughs> they are the ones maybe I have a smidgen of respect for, but no fear. And that is a, a very important distinction. I do not fear any of my opponents. Them I respect maybe just a wee bit, but, uh, you know, ignorance is bliss. Oh, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Yeah. We take out team I don't give a fuck who they are. Yeah. And then we get a shot mm. at the Pinkos. Yeah. We get a shot at Team Communist. Lenin and Trotsky. Exactly. That's right. The Bolsheviks right. will go down. The time for being respectful and nice and all that, that's over. I'm coming for that title. I'm going to have to kick your ass. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to kick those guys' ass. I might even kick your ass if you blow it again. Fine, I'm your teammate, man. All right. Okay. All right. I do. I forget. Where am I? I just know I'm here for one thing. Eating free pizza and kicking ass at movie trivia. And he's all out of pizza. I am. We got to bring some prestige and respect back to the Schmodown. Thank you. The rightful champion should be holding that tag team belt. Once we take care of top that, patriots, communists, leftists, Red Scare, Mao Zedong, I don't give a shit what you call yourselves, we're taking you out. And we're putting those belts back around our waist where they belong. Team Top 10. As you said, Top That, they were just here to eat pizza and get a chance to play the Patriots. They don't even, I don't even think they know that the Patriots are the champions. No. They, I don't think that they have, they, they care. They just want to come in here and win and show their dominance. The question is with Top That though, are they going to, this is really their first test, they can make a stamp. If they handle top 10 the way they've handled the other teams that they played, then they're for real. Even if they play a, a really good match with top 10, then they're for real. But if they if they fluke it, if they lose, then maybe they weren't as good as everyone thought they were. I absolutely hate to uh, agree with you. I really well, you do. Just I, did, though, didn't I you? talked to my counselor about this, my therapist right. about agreeing with you on a lot of things, but you're right here. Thank you're you. very right Thank because you. as much as I love top that, they do have to prove themselves. Yes. They The upper echelon includes the top 10. I, I have to admit that. I have admitted that legally. Um, but this is key for top that. I just don't think they're feeling the pressure. Well, it's certainly key for top 10 who, I don't know if pressure is the word anymore because you look at both Nost and Roka, these guys, they've been through it. They've been through the ringer since since season two, they work so well together. They know each other so well. You see that they want the Patriots so bad. John Roca has been revitalized. There was a time at the end of last season you could see that maybe the over, he was getting burnt out a little bit. You could see it. Not after that, team action woke them up. And now top that, everyone talking about top that is the next great thing. Roca's ready. Nost, he's ready. And I'm ready. Yeah, you know, you're right. They don't feel pressure. It's like Roca on a second date. He's like, all right, I, I didn't think I'd get this far. I'm here. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, you are a heel. All right, here we go. Give me a little bit of those stats here in the tail of the tape. Top 10, top that. What do you got? Top 10 former champions there. Uh, strengths include biopics, right. westerns. I asked Matt Dose, what are your strengths? He's like, what do you got? I am here to compete. I know everything. Confident indeed. Top that. You want to know their strengths? What are they? Name a category. Comic book movies. Strengths. Classics. Strengths. Animated. Strengths. Wow. That's pretty good. They you... know it all as well. All right, well, listen. You saying that, it gets me ready. Are you ready to go? Legally, I am ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmoda! <laughs> Three rounds in the team division for the number one contenders. Introducing first. With a record of three wins, one defeat, and three knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eric Goldman, Jim, Darth Baby. They are team top. Here to compete. 
Ready to compete. Coming down to Save the Teen up. Witch, which is top that music came out from. Yeah. They don't look. They don't look scared. No. They, they don't. don't look scared at all. They don't. They don't look happy to be here. They don't look. They just are ready I'm to compete and win. I love that about these. Not guys. intimidated at all. No. And their opponents. With a record of seven wins, four defeats, and one knockout. They are the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown semifinalists and the former Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champions, Mighty Matt Note, the Outlaw John Roca Team Top Ten. Oh, old school. Old school. Old school, school. Old school Roka coming yeah. out here with the mask on. Including Nose's t shirt. Old yeah, school. yeah, very old school. Very Sam Rockwell of him. Yeah. No, nominated for an Oscar this year, yeah, man. Right. You have to, well, you have to wonder as Outlaw talks to the crowd yeah. is this another chapter or the beginning of the last one? Now, Outlaw has never even been near Baby. Look at he's, he's near Baby. All right. Eric. Yeah. Give him a nice give him a little pat, a little respect. Uh, respectful pat. All right, guys, here we go. Round number one is going to work like this eight questions, each one worth one point apiece. They will write their answer on the whiteboard. They will have 15 seconds to answer. When it is their turn, they will show it to the camera and say the answer at the same time. They have the JTE rule, meaning you can ask to repeat a question three times throughout the match. Three times, you also have a challenge rule. Make sure if you, have, if you don't know how to use the challenge rule, ask. We will tell you otherwise, prepare to use a challenge rule if needed. All right, top 10, are you ready? Yep. Top that, are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Then let's get ready to Schmodown! <laughs> Here we go. Round number one, question number one in the realm of directors. Who directed the 1994 Best Picture nominee quiz show? Mm. You don't know that. Uh, I, I do You're know You're looking that. at the answers. Uh, well, I, I, I... Yeah, see? Don't start with That's me right. already. So five, four, three... Two, one. Pens down. Matt Nost. Uh, Robert Redford. That is correct. Jim. Robert Redford. Roka. Correct. Robert Redford. That's correct. Eric. Paul something. Oh, oh. so top, yeah. top You're that. You're thinking Paul Anastasio. The All right, here you go. <laughs> question two, question two. Category is comedies. In 1991's Father of the Bride, who plays the eccentric wedding coordinator, Frank Egelhofer? Have you ever seen? You've definitely seen this. Oh, it's it's uh, one of my favorite uh, of course, comedies. Of course. You know, I... I like to laugh every now and I understand. then. Five, four, three, two, one. Jim. Martin Short. Co cool. Correct. Roca. Martin Short. Correct. Eric. Martin Short. And Matt. Martin Short. There you go. Oh, All right on board. Top 10, not missing. Four, three. Battle of the Tops, and top 10 has it. All right, here we go. Number three, dramas. Who played the lead, Will Freeman, in the 2002 comedy drama About a Boy? To see something about, about JTE, just can't get anything right in spelling. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, you don't make me. Ah, you All right. You're a traitor don't, again. Don't, don't do Five, that. Five, four, three, two, one. Roca. Hugh Grant. Correct. Eric. Hugh Grant. Matt. Hugh Grant. And Jim. Hugh Grant. Look at that. There we go. The battle, the battle is there. One point difference here. Okay. Question four, category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Who played Quentin Tarantino's brother in From Dusk? Till dawn. <laughs> I uh, wasn't allowed to see that. That's Is that true? Nudity in the but film. Here, we got to talk. Five, four, three, two, one. Eric. Uh, the dreamy George Clooney. Correct, Matt. George Clooney. Jim. George Clooney. Roca. George Clooney. There you go. All right. All right. So Nost, Roca, and Jim have not missed yet. Here we go. Next one. Next one. Action adventure. Who directed 2010's Robin Hood? Battling hard here. Yeah, this, this, this is the a squeaks of concentration <laughs> oh, yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Matt. Took a guess. Ridley Scott. That's correct. That's correct. Jim. 
Ridley Scott. That's good. Uh, uh, John. Ridley Scott. And Eric. Ridley Scott. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at what that. a battle. 10 point. 9. Nost, Roca, and Jim have not missed yet. Here we go. Next question. All right. Question six Crime. Crime. Who was said to be sleeping with the fishes in The Godfather? Rachel Cushing just punched herself in the leg. Repeat. If you need to repeat, ask for it. Mark Riley. Can you repeat? All yes. All right. That is one JT rule. Category crime, who was said to be sleeping with the fishes in The Godfather? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Jim. I can't believe I'm going to forget this one. Uh, Angeli? It's incorrect. Correct. John. Luca Brasi. Correct. Yeah. Eric. Yeah. Eric. Fredo. Nothing. Matt. Yeah. Luca Brasi. Wow. Oh. Top 10 taking a big lead I there. Can't believe of all the <laughs> big lead. Three <laughs> point lead. I don't know how to spell Three it. point lead. All right. There Gosh. you go. Next one. Here we go. Category of fantasy sci fi. What was David Levinson's plan to defeat the aliens in the first Independence Day film? I mean, you used the word film to describe that. I'm sorry. And I, and I, I, I should have said I, no. I respect that. No. I respect that. I don't know if I should have said that. I feel bad about myself. No. Did I turn heel just now? Five, four, three, two, one. John Roca. I don't know. Computer virus? Correct. That's correct. Uh, Eric. Computer virus. Correct. Matt. Implant a virus in their computer. That's fine. That's Jim. <laughs> computer virus. There you right. go. <laughs> okay. So Roca going really old school and pretending he didn't know the question. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I just couldn't put computer yeah. virus. All right. <laughs> Top ten as a team is perfect right now. Right. Matt and John have not missed yet. All right. Final question. Eighth question coming in in the category of animated. Animated. Which characters from the Madagascar series had their own spin off movie in 2014? I mean, what? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and Eric. Penguins. That's that correct. correct. Matt. The Penguins. Perfect That's round correct. for Matt Nose. Jim. Penguins. That's correct. And John? The Penguins. The top ah. 10. I believe that is the first perfect team round that we have ever had. I think right. this is the first time t a team has ever been perfect together. So the way it'll work is top that will not answer this question. This is just for top 10. This is the bonus question. Both the guys have a chance to get a point here. They have to write it down just like they have been previously. Here we go. Here's your bonus question for top 10. In 2006's Babel. Kate Blanchett plays opposite Brad Pitt, but in which film from 2008 do the two also star together? Well, I would expect nothing less from these teams right now. They're ready. Look, top ten. Top ten looks hungry. Mm -hmm. And five. Well, like you got to give us a little bit of time. It's a long title. Four, yeah. three, two, one. Matt. The curious case of Benjamin Button. That's Roca. Point. The Curious Case of Benjamin That Martin. is a perfect round. Yeah. That is a five-point swing right. there. Unbelievable. Top ten hitting every question in the first round. The bonus, they have a five-point lead. That is, the, that is the, the biggest lead anyone's ever had over top that. As we get into round number two, here we go. The wheel round. Wheel will come out. They will spin the wheel. Each team will spin the wheel. They will get six questions worth two points apiece. If they go to multiple choice, one point. You can steal from your opponents in this round. Top 10, you guys have a five point lead. You want to go first or second? Okay. I'm going to go first. Go ahead, go All for right. it. All right, who's going to spin? Matt's going to spin there. Matt's going to spin here. I mean, this is, look, look at Roka. Roka is focused right now. Roka is focused. Trembling. I haven't seen Roka like this since his Merle match. He's not even looking at the wheel. Look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, but no, here's, here, I'll top tell you what. Has strengths. Here's, here's, this, this isn't. Watch what happens here. I guarantee you, know what happens here. What? Watch, you'll see. I'm trying to watch. They don't know that. They don't know their weaknesses. They yeah, don't watch the show. That's true. That's true. I'm also trying to watch. Yeah. Roka here we go. With a mask. Uh, what are you going for? We're gonna go with. Uh, yeah. See. Sure. Uh, biopics. They went with biopics. Biopics. Bio <laughs> this is. This was. This was. No. This. Here we go. Oh, All right, so they just Western. chose. He's wearing a hat. They just I chose biopics, and this is the problem with them not watching the shows. This is a, a huge strength of, bio, of John Roke. He's never missed a question in biopics. Here we go. Right. So now, so now, so now it is biopics. All right, here we go, guys. 
Category of biopics. Here we go. Six questions. What actor played American entertainer, playwright, and composer George M. Cohen in both Yankee Doodle Dandy and The Seven Little Foys? James Cagney. Two points. Two points, well. All right. All right. In Men of Honor, Cuba Gooding Jr. suffers an injury on a ship after and loses a part of his body. What part of his body does he lose? Uh, his leg. Correct. Two more points. Who directed the 2005 biographical war drama Jarhead? Five, four, three, two. Multiple choice. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Sam Mendes, B, Clint Eastwood, C, Catherine Bigelow, D, Brian Singer? Okay. Sam Mendes? One point. Good All right, here we go. <laughs> Question four. Question four. What is the nickname that Howard Stern gives Paul Giamatti in private parts? Oh. <laughs> Five. Okay. Four. Okay. Three. Fine, multiple choice. Is it A, fat ass? No. B, pig vomit? C, uh, porker? D, pig nose? B, B pig Correct, vomit. for one more point. Yeah. All right, right. 24, 13. All right, two more, two more. Not giving Top that a chance to steal. Who plays an LA journalist that befriends a homeless Juilliard trained musician oh. in The Soloist? Robert Downey Jr. Two points. Two more. Wow, look at this. What a, what a. And your last question here. Which actor plays bull rider Lane Frost in eight seconds? Oh, it's uh, Perry. Luke Perry. Okay. Luke Perry? Two That's more correct. points yeah. for top ten. It's like a so movie right after. So, that look, that, is, that is why you always tell you want to check out your opponents because they gave the strength, and, man, what a, what a round for top ten. Fifteen-point lead. Top that. Top that is in, is in desperation here. They need to hit comic book movies. All right, guys, you guys are up. Go for that spin in order Good to come back. You've never spun before. They got it! They got it! Oh my god, they got it again. They got it again. All right. Oh man. All right, guys, sixth question in the category of comic book movies. First one coming in here. In Batman and Robin, how was Alicia Silverstone's Barbara related to Alfred? Nice. That's correct. Two, for two points. points. Wow, coming back to. All right. What was John Favreau's character's full name in the Iron Man films? Uh, multiple choice. Well, I think I'm gonna go for it. No, no. Well, no, you say multiple choice. You okay. say multiple choice. A. Harold Hawthorne. B. Happy Gilmore. C. Happy Hogan. D. Harry Hausen. Oh. <laughs> well, Happy Hogan. We thought you were going for his non-nickname, though. But it says full. It does say full name. I mean, you can you can challenge it if you want. I kind of no, actually. Well, no. I think we, we, we won. We said you Happy oh, Hogan. Okay, right. Well, I mean, yeah, but you can challenge. Do you want to challenge it or not? You have one challenge. No, you don't have to challenge. No. 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 Okay. We'll All right. Board. I'll let the comments decide. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. So they they got one point there. Okay. All next right. one. In Captain America Civil War, Spider-Man took down Ant-Man with a technique from what Star Wars film? The Empire Strikes Back. That's Two correct. points. All right. Question four. All right. In what 1990s comic book movie do the criminals Fun Boy, T-Bird, Skank, and Tintin appear? The Crow. Two that more is correct. Fire it up! Fire it up! <laughs> All right, two more points here. Fifth two question. More questions, sorry. Fifth question. What was the first comic book movie to cross one billion dollars worldwide at the box office? Do multiple choice. A. The Avengers. B. The Dark Knight. C. Spider-Man Three. D. Iron Man. Dolphin over there. Yeah. Dark Knight. That's correct for a point. One more point. All right. Yeah. Last question here Last in order to get within five. Question. In Suicide Squad, what word does the Joker have tattooed on his forehead? <laughs> yeah. 
damaged. That's oh, correct. Go. All right, so they came back here. Five yeah. points. <laughs> they, were, they, they were able to it's get like that. It's like the round didn't exist, everyone. Well, <laughs> that comic book movie category really helped them out because they were in desperate need there, and they got it. All right, here we go, guys. Round number three. Round number three works like this. The competitors will get three categories that they can choose from, from one to 20. They will get a two-pointer, a three-pointer, and a five-pointer. They will choose who would like to answer the two and the three, and then collectively they can answer the five together should it get there. All right, so top 10, you guys are in the lead. Pick three numbers from one to 20. 12, six, and 20. 12, six, and 20. Top that. Nine, 14, 17. Nine, 14, and 17. All right, top that will be going first. They'll be going first, and they have chosen category number nine. Category number nine, and that is the two-pointer. That is holiday movies. Who's going to be taking the holiday movies? It's your two points. Netflix. Here we go. Two points. Yeah, go for it. All right, Eric's going for it. I'll go for it. Eric. What song is played over the credits at the end of Eight Crazy Nights? Um, I'm guessing the Hanukkah song by Adam Sandler. That is correct. Two, Two points. points. <laughs> All right. So, yes. so, now, so now, Jim, in order to tie it up here, to tie it up, Jim will get category 14. In the 1980s, Stallone plays the character of Marion in which 1980s film? Rhinestone? It's incorrect. Looking for Cobra. Looking oh, for Cobra. So Cobra. Cobra. All right, so now it comes down to this five pointer. Five pointer. These guys can tie it up, or excuse me, they can take the lead if they get this correct. However, if they miss, top 10 will win and play the Patriots for the championship. All right, guys, your five pointer. What future Academy Award nominee? plays murderer Richard Haywood in the thriller Murder by Numbers. Ryan Gosling. For five points. They got it yeah. there. There you go. Nice they got it. 30, 28. So top 10 can tie it here with the two-pointer. They avoided the TKO. The two-pointer top 10 will get category number 12. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, uh, absolutely. Uh, don't, don't take any glory away from me, Harlow. Sorry, sorry. All sorry. right, you chose number 12. Category is rom-coms. Who will be taking this question? I guess I'll take it. All right, right the man who understands love less there. All right. Um, Two-point question. Who plays Jack Nicholson's co-lead, Erica, in Something's Gotta Give? Diane Keaton. That's correct. The High game. All right. So now it goes to Matt Nost can win the game here. If Nost hits this three-pointer, it's over. Top 10 will win. If he misses, it goes to the five-pointer. All right, Ken. You chose the number six. That category is crime. Crime. What were the last names of Bonnie and Clyde in 1967's Bonnie and Clyde? Five, four, three, no. two, one. Didn't get it. All right. So, Bonnie they, Parker and Clyde Barrow. Yes, Damn. Parker and Barrow. But we now, they still have a chance. It is not over. It is the five-pointer. If they hit it, game over. If they don't, we go to sudden death here. 30-30 as we go to, they can tie the record also if they hit it right now. They will tie the record. But it is now. Ken, category number 20. You chose number 20. That category is Pixar. Pixar films. Okay. Five-point question you can confirm. Confer. At the beginning of Inside Out, young Riley is shown to have five islands of personality. Name two of them. Uh, family and hockey. And your winner! <laughs> Number one contender, Mighty Matt, John Rudolph, the Outlaw, Team Top Ten. They got the Patriots again. They got the.
Patriots again. It's going to happen for the third time. Top 10 is going to be playing the Patriots. They've tied the record. They did it again. They tied the record. What a game. That's got to be the best game they've ever played. Look, this is Yankees Dodgers. I, this is Yankees Dodgers. This this is a long time robberies. I, I sometimes, uh, you know, I, I, I maybe sometimes overlook John Roca. Uh, not overlook his skills, but just sometimes I wonder if he wants to keep going. You know, he's had such a long ride and ups and downs, but Roca and Nost continue to show why they belong in the upper echelon, uh, and I, I have to admit that now. Well, let's listen. Let's not take anything away from Ma mighty Matt Nost here. The guy had a no. perfect first round. No. What an absolute showing by top 10. That wasn't something like sweaty palms that happened maybe in that one no. match. This is top 10 showing they are an elite team and potential champions here. They can... I mean, if this is the third time they are going to be playing the Patriots, you guys got to be a little nervous after seeing something like that. Uh, we're, look, we're nervous? <laughs> that is that is quite an accusation. We are always aware of our opponents. We always That is what Tom does as a manager. That is why he is the best manager of all time. We are prepared for all possible outcomes and opponents. We're not worried. We're excited to show top ten that they're still not better than the Patriots. All right, so, and as we get to the post-interviews, Brad Gilmore from the Schmodown Rundown will be interviewing both top 10 and top that. Here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Your man Brad Gilmore here with the victors in the first team match of the season. Team top 10, an impressive win, gentlemen. But, John, I got to tell you first, uh, yeah. we haven't seen you play like that since arguably that Dan Merle match. What was going through your mind? What 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 was the difference maker this time? Well, i tell you something. When you uh, go down to the pit and you lose and you you have a bad 2017, you lose all the awards in the Schmodown Awards, and you have people saying that maybe he's over it, he's over the hill, maybe he's lost it, maybe he ain't got it anymore, you go back to what worked for you. And before Dan's match, I did a lot of meditation, a lot of focus. I did that before this match as well. I didn't take him lightly, but I took care of myself, just focused on myself, stayed within myself, and that's what it took. And you know, Matt, Y'all tied the all-time points record for teams. You had the first team ever to have a perfect round one. What was going through your head? Well, first off, wasn't that our record? Yeah. So we just tied ourselves. That's right. Oh, it wasn't ours? Yeah. I'm getting a shake off from Christian oh, saying it wasn't it was ours. It's above the line. Does anybody out there believe Christian? I don't. <laughs> Somebody fact check that for me because I don't believe him at all. The guy bullshits nonstop. It was a great match. It was a great match. Top, top that. Uh, I, I think it was karma for them having not watched for picking biopics, but then also getting comic book movies. Yeah, so it balanced he, out. It did. It balanced out, and it came down to those final couple questions. And, and luck of the draw, they played a great game. We just happened to play a little bit better today. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. And that's what I wanted to ask you about. When Top, when top That said biopics, yeah. I mean, they got opponent's choice. They picked biopics, a strength of yours, something that you went, I believe, 10 out of 12 right the last season what was going through your mind uh nothing but focus you never know you know when you at, when you get that so many times as i've rolled it i thought well how many questions are yeah. left and so you start to worry how much deeper these questions are going to go how much more obscure they might be so i didn't have any kind of reaction just stayed still waited for the questions to come and you know you had a lot of momentum coming off that schmodown spectacular when y'all beat team action but now for the third time mm -hmm. you get one more shot at the patriots for those team championships What's going to be your strategy going in, and what do you got to say to the Patriots? Well, let me correct you real quick, Brad. We TKO'd a team action. Uh, we, we didn't just correct. beat them. We TKO'd them sure. and sent them back down. You lay the smack it down. Right. That's right. We lay yes. the smack it down on their candy asses. <laughs> yep. uh, what, what is it like to basically go back and fight? Look, look, we're bringing this back to this country, all right? That belt will no longer be in Team Communist hands. So the Maoist regime is going down, okay? Bolsheviks die today. We're bringing the USA is what I want to hear chant from the crowd when we walk in that day. USA. Not for the Patriots. That is a misnomer, all right? They're, gonna they're trying to infiltrate. Oh, wait, wait, hold they're going oh, to go. They're going to have to keep playing, oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's oh, wait, a backwards hat on. Look at that. Listen. Khrushchev's aborted baby listen, showed up. Well, what are we going to talk about, man? Are you going to put your hand in the candy jar and get spanked before you realize you can't defeat us? Is we beat you twice for the championship. This used to be you yours. got lucky on Not the first anymore. time, you and we didn't show well, up. What happened the second, the second time? time? We weren't showing up focused. This Listen, time we are. We earned our happen. way back. The second time didn't happen. The first time was a fluke. They're gonna call it the Schmodown Missile Crisis by the time I we're have done. never you're lost. Back. Take those belts to from To John Roca in anything, and I will never well, lose life, to John Roca in okay. anything. Yeah. Life, Schmodown. Listen, and your show sucks. Yeah. Get out of here. Who well, wait a minute, who's doing yeah. security? JTE. Uh, yeah, someone gets security for him, but hey, uh, th guys, 
Once again, you have that championship match coming up. I know you're going to be focusing for that. If y'all want to see more about the Schmodown, if you want to know more about the movie trivia Schmodown, check out the Schmodown Rundown on SK+. Plus. Myself, Frank Janish, every Saturday. But for now, Christian, Ken, back to you. Brad Gilmore here with the team top that. Now, it didn't go your way, guys, this time around. Uh, what was your thoughts on the match? Hey, I thought they were the the, the best team that we've ever played. Uh, much, even more respect for them now. I think they're a uh, legit victory there. Um, I look forward to maybe playing them again down the line someday if we're lucky. Uh, I, look, we erased a 17-point deficit and it came down to the wire, so I don't feel that bad. I, there were a couple of missteps, but I think overall, I, I'm not embarrassed. Yeah, Eric, when y'all got comic book movies, a strong suit of yours, what was going through your mind? I mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, look, it's amazing. This guy knows how to spin, I'll say that. <laughs> and so I felt, you know, wow, this is amazing. We have this, and we had a, a chance to come back, and I felt, yeah, we, we did come back. Now, we didn't get it at the very end, but I still, yeah, like Jim was saying, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, look, of the five times we played, three times were TKOs. Two times we lost, we lost on the very last question both times. Yep. So I think that's still a, a very respectable showing. So uh, comp books, I'm glad it was there to uh, to help us stay <laughs> strong. But, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, we, we can still come back and then do, do great here. Yeah. But, Jim, when, when Team Top 10, when they spun opponent's choice, that's normally a death knell. That's the end of the match for most teams and most competitors here in the Movie Trivia Schmodown. But then you gave them biopics. You know, uh, some people say you didn't watch a lot of the matches, so you might not have known that's a strength of the outlaw, John Roca. What was going through your mind when you picked biopics? Well, I understand that criticism, but there was a method to my madness, which is biopics and westerns are strong suits of mine. So I'll, I knew that they, I was going up against a team that kicked a lot of ass. And so I didn't, I didn't take any of those categories for granted. I just thought if they miss one, I felt very confident I could get biopics or westerns. But I'm like, do I pick westerns to the guy wearing the fucking cowboy hat who calls himself <laughs> outlaw? I'm like, I'll go with biopics. Uh, cause I, I had a feeling that comic book movies might come around for us and sure enough it did. So it was, it was a strategic bet. Uh, I'm more pissed that I missed Luca Brazzi cause I knew that, <laughs> that I'm more pissed about that than biopics. Frankly, I found the, the, the crowd's outburst a little distracting. <laughs> well, no, definitely. But here's my thing. If you could go back and do it again, would you pick a different category yeah. for him? I, I'd probably take coming of age films. Coming of age films? Comedy yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I also have to say, we would not have challenged on the uh, Happy Hogan question if we knew it was just Happy Hogan, which we both knew. Yeah. We thought they were going for Harold Happy Hogan, yeah, yeah. his full name from the comics, but yeah. wasn't 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 what they were looking for. But that's what I wanted to ask yeah. you. You know, I mean, you thought it was the full name, but you could have challenged it. Why yeah. not go through the challenge? You have one challenge it, per match. You could have done it. It was, it, you know, it, and it is definitely 24 hindsight. We sh we should have. Uh, but the fear was, if we'd use this right now, what if we yeah. need that challenge later? So yeah. it's, it's definitely the flip. I mean, of the we were thing. we were coming back from a huge deficit, and like every choice we were making at that point, I wanted to stay in the game. Yeah. Um, so I'm not embarrassed by our loss. We tied it up to the very end. I knew Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker. Yeah. I was like hoping I that they Barrow. would choke in the next one. <laughs> I was right about Gosling and Michael Pitt being in Murder by Numbers. Uh, so I, I just, I'm more embarrassed, again, by the Luca Brazzi of it all <laughs> than I am and, than and, anything and else. And I'm embarrassed by, on the very first question, uh, trying to, not remembering, Redford directed quiz show, and like he yeah. thought I was going for the writer. Paul he, Anastasio, yeah. the director, Paul something. Yep. That's, that's who wrote it. Well, guys, what's next? Jim, what's next for Team Top That? Uh, happy hour, and then <laughs> maybe I'll go into singles. I've been curious about that. Uh, I would like to. I, look, I love doing this. Uh, I wish I had done a little better today, but when it was 30 to 30 and it came down to just those last couple of questions, I'm not embarrassed by this loss. Uh, if anything, I feel a little more emboldened by it. And I, I will say again, like they were the best team we've played. Yeah, so yeah, mad right. respect for them. Yeah. Now, if you go into singles, would there be anybody you'd like to call out right now? Oh, Jesus. I, <laughs> let, let's not push our luck for today, okay? I'll come back to you on that one. All Luca right. something. Yeah, I want to play Luca Brazzi. I want him to finally go fucking sleep with the fishes. There we go. All right, well, that's team top that. Christian and Ken, back to y'all. All right, as we come back, look, top 10 is, st is static. They cannot wait to play the Patriots. They are firing shots off already. That match will be happening not too far away, man. They are going to be the Patriots top 10 
head to head one more time. They got the shot, but then you listen, you talk to Top That, who, you know, they were a little upset. You know, they, they obviously, again, Jim and Eric, very busy guys, and they will, maybe next, next match, We'll see. Maybe, like they said, they'll, they'll watch a, they'll watch the game tape. We'll see what happens. But Jim talking. Jim wants to get into the singles league, and I think that's where he might belong. Look, a, a loss is a loss. It is. It, it is what it is. But no one, no one can doubt top that talent. Oh, we've man. seen what they can do before, 30 points. and we'll see what. Yeah, thirty, 30 points. points exactly. You find me a team out there who's just going to casually toss out thirty points. That's still tough. And as far as top ten, dreams come true, John and Matt. Dreams come true until it turns into a nightmare, and your nightmare, TikTok, is about to begin when you step into the ring with the Patriots. Propaganda personified. All right, guys, now before we go, I want to let you guys know once again about the Patreon. Like we said, we're going to be adding so many more matches. We're going to be adding so many more things for you guys, and you are helping us do this. The Patreon, if you want to become a subscriber, go ahead, write in the link in the description. You want to see, again, there's going to be more matches. I'm working on the, the app for the Android. A lot of these different things that we're trying to get more editors, more writers, things that you guys can help us with. All you got to do, check it out. We're offering some really great tiers for all of you. Check it out. Become a subscriber. And we'll see you on Friday when, look at this match, the professor, Lon Harris, goes up against who he says is his protege, Cody Hall, the web slinger himself, this Friday on the Schmodown. Welcome back to Season 5, guys. Happy to have you. Like, comment, check it all out. We'll see you next time. Shambles, I miss doing Collider Nightmares. I hope you're doing okay. You know, speaking of nightmares... The real nightmare is that some people consider you to be a horror expert. I'll have you know, I am a horror expert. Well, I'm glad you think you're a horror expert. I've done the show Nightmares. I don't know if you heard about it. Mm, you've done a show Nightmares. You Presumably you know about horror movies. How many of the Howling sequels have you seen? Uh, probably all of them. Maybe the Marsupials was my favorite. Well, all right, fine. How many of the Hellraiser sequels have you seen? Uh, only the good ones. So the first two, then? Yes. Not the previous... I watched the, up the to, preceding seven. I watched up to the fourth one. I have a guilty pleasure. Ah, I see. Well, I see you have a little bit of horror expertise, but I'll have you know that I am an Evil Dead expert. Well, you know, I want to say something too over off the cuff here, but I'm also an Evil Dead expert. Uh huh. If you're an Evil Dead expert, you would know the name of the tie-in puppet toy for Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Would you be talking about Ashy Slashy? Uh, well, I would. Well, how about uh, Evil Dead the second film? What was the subtitle? Dead by Dawn. All right. Well, you guys seem very knowledgeable of Evil Dead lore, history, but you need a little help. I'm here to help. I'm going to team you guys with some real experts from Ash versus Evil Dead. And if you know about Evil Dead, you'll know what that is. That's a show, soon to be in its third season. <laughs> Ash versus Evil Dead. Awesome. Only on Stars, 225. Nice. You got to download the Stars app, though. Okay. Okay. But, guys, I'm going to pair you with two people from our show Ray Santiago, Dana DiLorenzo, right now. Let's do it. Awesome. What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and I'm here to fact check. This is your Schmodown breakdown. And your winner! What we just witnessed from top 10 was the single most accurate match of all time. But first, we need to start in round one where John Roca and Matt Nose became the first duo to have a perfect round in the same match, and that would include answering the bonus correctly. And despite a near perfect game from top 10, they nearly squeaked out a five-point victory over Eric and Jim. Now, taking a closer look at the numbers for this match, Top Fat played their most accurate match as a team, answering 84% correct. It's the eighth best all-time, and their 30 points made them just the eighth different team to score 30 points or more. But the big story is Top 10 when they went 26 of 27, making it the most accurate performance from a team in Schmodown history. Not to mention, they also tied the scoring record of 35 points with above the line. Now to see other records were set from this match, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter for more. And don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown podcast every Saturday on the SK Plus YouTube channel or on the Schmoes No podcast feed on iTunes. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown.